Hello, hello, hello. Here we go. Sorry to make you wait. Mama was uh, getting ready. I was changing my hair. Got a haircut. <laughs> I've cut off all my hair. Uh, hopefully, our con the connection should stay good this time. Uh, I'm actually going to monitor, though. I forgot to set that up. I just opened my phone. That way I'll I'll be aware if the connection drops. But I do think the bitrate thing should help. Hey, Dark Ninja, hello! Also, I forgot that the BGM is off. There we go. Nice. Um, it's, we didn't miss out too much. We got last stream, uh, the only thing I, I got to was the, when they ambushed us in the inn and <laughs> had the whole dinner with uh, Alpha and Alice and Raha. Yeah, with the cheeseburgers and stuff. That's what we did last time, um, for those who know the story. So, we're just continuing right from there. I don't know if I'll upload that part to YouTube or not. I'm still thinking about it. I'll see. Alright, should we talk to Cryo? Sounds good. Alright. Feeling refreshed. Yes. We did see Xenos being an edge lord, though. Oh, that. right, that whole conversation with uh, oh, Van Daniel, Van Daniel, and and Xenos. I I think I I could not pay attention during it because of all the internet connection stuff I was having. Yeah, which, uh, I I might have to go back and watch that. Oh, right, Graha got caught. That's why he's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and we're in trouble by default, but they know who he is. We're in trouble by association. Oh, he's not an alumni of the studio. Oh, okay, okay, sorry, never mind. Kryle is. He went uh, to a special school for... Well, he, he was a student here, but not... Yeah, but... He, one. He, yeah, he, uh... I'm gonna pat Graha's head. It's okay, Graha. They have, like, two different schools. They have ones for the students of Adesian, and then he went to a special one for sp special magic or something like that. I can't for remember For Elegant, exactly I think, it. stuff, right? Yeah. Often I was practicing! <laughs> Father can match these fiendish contraptions. I'm so good. <laughs> That's how I was feeling trying out Sage. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I'm talking to Alice. Skull Arch. Skull Art. Skull Arch? Skull Art. Who would that be? Skull Arch. Our notoriety, right? We did get in trouble for sneaking around. position. She just went in the opposite direction we needed to head to. Pretty much. I don't know why I'm running. I probably could have teleported there. <gasps> oh, yeah, you're so right. There. Thanks for telling me that. I'm close enough that I could teleport. How dare you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm sure you'll get there at the same time I'm gonna teleport in. <laughs> Your loading screen. <laughs> well, it's not the loading screen. It's because you told me after you'd already started running <laughs> True. The loading screen would have been if we were going to a different section. But we're still here. Or a different map, I should say. Oh, not the sneaky music. Silly, Got silly snaps in music. It. Yeah. It's always this song when something silly is happening. Or we're being a little... A little silly. Experimental magics. Hmm. Promote the study of etherological <laughs> phenomena. <laughs> oh wow, this is that's a really uh, expansive study. Oh, 
place of learning, okay. Oh, this is Alpha and Alice, like where they graduated from, right? That's what Alice was saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looks like Alpha has gone on this tangent a lot. Oh, how cute. Youngest to enter the studio. Wow. Undisputed champion of debating chamber. Oh, Alphano entered before Alice. The legend of Alphano of the year. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I guess we'll see. Maybe we'll be able to get some info. Unless everyone's gonna be snarky about the fact that they've been disowned. Which is, which is ridiculous. But it's crazy, yeah. It would be like if you went to college and your father disowned you. And the, everybody at your college was like, I don't want to talk to you because your father disowned you. But also, your father is like the dean of the college. <laughs> yeah. But still, even I know, if my but father still, was the dean of the... I 100% agree with you, and that's what's wild. <laughs> is that here, it's, they act like this. Also, what is this? <laughs> oh my god, stop. That's so cute. The Alpha no, I love you. <laughs> Spread the word. Oh my god. How cute. Who is. What's the Skalark? Scholar? He's the special scholar. Have I have no met idea. Him? That's the question. Oh my god, this place is. It's like the market area, kind of? Oh my god, are these people cheering on Alphano? <laughs> Alpha know himself in the flesh. He spoke to me. Actually, spoke to me. Alpha know looks shocked and appalled. <laughs> he looks so startled. Part of me is like, how would all these students know him? He's 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 been out of school for forever. But I forget that he's only like seventeen. He probably yeah. only left like a year I mean, ago. Even then, if he's legendary, then everyone knows about him either way. Uh, I'm sure you'll tell you all about after my business scholar has been concluded. What does this have to do with saving the world from catastrophe? Oh my gosh. Oh, they actually are like, they like that he is you know, pushing the envelope on things. That's fun. Wait, is this person gonna react? My princess, my queen. <laughs> what? What? That person just <laughs> talk about her princess, her queen. I don't know. Alpha knows time abroad has only heightened his fame. He can give up to his adoring fans and upon them like rabbit dogs. Rabbit dogs. <laughs> Alpha knows has changed a lot from then. I'm just talking to the NPCs. Are they in this room? God, there's so many rooms. There are a lot of rooms. Oh, uh, uh, Ali Po. Isn't that the name of the Chloe girl, too? Her last name? I believe so. Oh my god, I did not see. You were blending in with the table. <laughs> oh my god, I just saw you, like, ass up on that table. Oh god. <laughs> and then you got up and clicked on the cutscene. <laughs> Why were you why were you presenting your butt to Kelly Can you explain yourself? 
<laughs> I would have a strong word for you. You're already in the cutscene, though. I guess I'll talk to her. Also, Nick says to hydrate. Yes. Thank you, Nick. Wander off the street. Oh, do I look like a gleaner? Okay. Searchers meet. Most important thing in the studio. I don't know. The tree? Oh, the books. <laughs> um, everything else? The student studio files. Equipment materials. Oh. Okay. Hmm. So it's like the the gleaner hub where you come here, make a request, and then the gleaners go and get whatever you need. The only thing I'm interested in gleaning is information of the scholars. <laughs> work that I've tried that is the one I'm saying. I, I'm saying the second one. I am no gleaner. Are you looking for a skull arc? I'm afraid we don't have any of those in stock. <laughs> 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 oh, she's funny. He's on his way to Maker's Meat, okay. All blood curdling screams. For alarmingly frequent accidents. <laughs> oh my. Best of luck finding you. <laughs> Feeling you'll need it. Okay. <laughs> Got it. I'm kind of an expert at tracking things down. We're just gonna ignore whatever that was. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else see the lost child? Lost child? Lost adult child. Level headed student. He was here a short while ago. He offered me advice on my current research project. The auditorium. Okay. Time to go look for him. Were we given an example of what he looked like? We were not. Okay. Which is funny because you would think they would use that for uh, Alphano's drawing. He would have been like, oh, <gasps> oh this right. is what it looks like. That would be a perfect opportunity. I do miss his drawings. I think it's probably this probably last one, right? Store. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Unless that's not him. I think it is him though. That's what's his name. Yeah. Yeah. That name looked familiar. I can't spell I can't pronounce it, so I hope it has voice acted. Ah, I remember you. Oh, this, the oh, guy wait, who stood up for us. From... Yeah. Yeah, he was in the thing. Yeah, he stood up for us. No wonder. I pray we have not caught you at an inopportune moment. He's the one that was also friends we with uh... to offer our thanks for your kind words oh, in the God, I can't remember the name. Louis Swa. Yeah, Louis Swa. I'm glad someone's happy to see us here. Well, I could hardly let that Inquisition go unchallenged. I've always believed that curiosity should be nurtured, not stifled. Thankfully, a majority of my colleagues agreed. A slender majority, aye, but a majority nonetheless. Hmm. Had the vote not gone our way, we would be having a very different conversation, if any at all. Though I'd like to think you would have not given up on our cause. I'm told you paid a visit to the Annex afterwards. Yes, that's right. I was hoping to speak with the grandchildren of my dearly departed friends Gallif and Louisois in a less doer setting. But it seems I just missed you. I still can't believe how much you've grown. If only your grandsires could have seen the way you presented yourselves to the Forum. Why, a fair brought a tear to my own eye. <laughs> you must have the patience of a saint, putting up with this lot and their antics. <laughs> Never mind Matoya's prize student. Oh yeah, they're so annoying. Love them though. Luckily, I know a thing <laughs> or two about managing unruly younglings. If you ever need advice, don't hesitate to ask. I like this old man already. 
Oh, he just winked at me? Okay. <laughs> if I may, there is a rather more pressing matter we wish to discuss. What can you tell us of this duty? That oh, the are we allowed to ask him this? Nothing, I'm afraid. Like all humble servants of the forum, I am sworn to secrecy. Damn. Understandable. Or rather, I couldn't tell you if I tried. <gasps> it's Our like a duty magic. is of the gravest oh. importance. Furthermore, I keep thinking the they've like sworn to secrecy in a way that's like magic and news. They I can't say it, but it's not that deep. As such, those entrusted with this duty have been bound by an enchantment, which prevents us from speaking of such matters without the express permission of the forum. Hmm. How is that even possible? So they've literally been enchanted, so they can't talk about it. Yeah. It's been some time since I last gave a lecture. Oh, I like Please. his rings. Take a seat. Yeah. I don't want to go to school. I mean, he's, he looks like a cool professor. I think it should be kind of fun. <laughs> Okay. Feels like we're in Hogwarts right now. Are we playing Hogwarts Legacy? <clears throat> we shall begin by reviewing the five levels of etherology. <laughs> I could see Miss Garlic again. The ether <gasps> Wait, which imbues her. us with life can be categorized into three forms. Two are of the incorporeal sort, the soul. And the memory. Can anyone tell me the third? Sorry, I sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I missed the question. Oh no. Oh god. Oh, um. You're supposed to be the smart one. You're supposed to be the scholar. Corporeal ether. <laughs> you got it yes. right. Oh, okay. Very good. <laughs> This is how I'm smart, Fluffy. <laughs> this is the form with which the layman is most familiar. I guess my way to the top. Consumed by even the simplest this is how I became daily a scholar. activities and replenished by the food and drink that sustain us, this form of ether is in constant flux. In contrast, the ether that comprises the soul is rarely subject to dramatic change. The same can be said for memory as the two are intrinsically linked. Hmm. Picture the soul as paper and memories as words written upon it. Okay. Now, what would happen if that paper was doused with ink? The same type of ether as comprises the memories. Oh. I feel like it'd be faster if he just did it himself. It would blot out everything that was written. Precisely. Oh, we is that what's happening? We call the memories. When and any activities thralls. that depend upon them would be hindered as well. In fact, this exact phenomenon was observed on a vast scale not so long ago. And what might that have been? The seventh umbral calamity. Oh right, because when everyone the forgot the Warrior of Light, vividly right? recalled Bahamut breaking mm -hmm. free of the Warriors of Light and raining hellfire down upon the realm. But no one could seem to remember the events that followed immediately afterwards. Indeed, to this day we have yet to determine whether it was an unintended consequence or a deliberate act. I feel like it must be deliberate. If people can all not remember that the one section, which binds me and the yeah. rest of the it forum, feels very purpose, a similar purposeful. Principle. 
And yes, it is a contravention of the Charlene prohibition oh, against the practice. Oh, so they've done it to them too. So they know something, their plan, but they don't know it either because only their when memory a new has member is inducted and told of our great duty are they subjected to the process. So they know they have a duty, but they don't remember either. what it is. But they're still working. You have my it. word that it would never yeah. be used to manipulate the populace. Interesting concept. I should hope not. But can this enchantment be dispelled and your memories restored? If nine tenths I don't of think I could give their approval, work towards the something like this reversed. without then, at least some kind of push to know, yeah. Will we be able to speak freely to others of our sacred duty? Unless it kind of works like that, they know it's really important. We wait until we like, return but they don't remember what it is, the but they know sea. that it's important. The same way, like, the Warriors of Light, they know that they're important, but they just can't remember them. For there we will be but they know the significance of them. The blots upon our souls washed clean. Could we use the, the pig to clean? And our memories drift apart and dissolve. Rather defeating the purpose, I suppose. Hmm. But there are those memories that are indelibly etched upon our souls, some believe. What happens after that? Or become Asians and we are reduced or to prevent this ether, entire process. Coalesce with yeah. that of others and create souls anew. Alternative schools of thought assert souls remain whole and return to the corporeal world, reborn into another form. But did Final Fantasy get all deep about both theories have reincarnation and personally? Hasn't it always been? <laughs> each I mean, I guess technically, yeah. This whole game is like the opposite of it's not that deep, bro. I am really shocked. I'm so shocked about this. What's happening? Well, I think that's enough education for today. I, I feel, now what, that I've given you some food for I, thought. Why was I that shocked? Or rather, an entire banquet. Are we suspecting that that's what happened to us? That ink bottle didn't want to leave. I would remind you that although I'm unable to assist you with certain matters, the resources at my disposal may still be of use to you. I'll arrange for you all to be given the run of Phenomenon. Of course, as associate to our alumni and the students of Baldessian, this privilege is extended to you as well, my friend. Hmm. I feel like he wants oh, to know and I what's, you speak with what they're Aliyah working towards, too. She's yeah, well I think he wants to remember as well. Of Charlian, and her network of contacts may prove useful in your search for knowledge. I wish you all the best in your pursuits. Or rather, he wants us to know so that we can you. decide whether or not it's a worthy, <laughs> worthy thing. What is Phenomena? Hmm? It said it gives, it gives, you've been granted access to the run of Phenomenon. If you are game, Key Aliapo would like to use your, put your art, artistry to good use. Maybe it's a new mini game. It might be something, yeah, to do with, uh, it's locked, so it's definitely not combat. Let's see what my new weapon looks like. Maybe I should I have used, used it on the site. Hmm? I said I already used this one. I had bought this one at one point. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I wonder if I had done it for my site, it would have been someone, one that I've already bought, too. I'm hoping I get the scholar gear that all the other forum people are wearing, so I'm gonna keep doing this as a <laughs> as healer. 
One step closer to understanding the form's true motives. Head back to the annex. Oh, I think we're gonna unlock that mini game or whatever it was now. It looks like it's already unlocked. It's right next to us. Yeah. We are meant to go here. in here. Let me, uh. Yeah, Kadu's an alchemist. Let's see what she says. It looks like it's fetch quests for artisans. Gotcha. I'm just heading to the next quest. Yep. I just stopped by. It's red for me, so it must be something I cannot do. Since you said artisan, right? So. Yeah. What is your health? What you even got chunk out your health? What did you do? Because I switched to Artisan and then switched uh, back. Gotcha. If I had Selene now, she would have healed you. Wait, I'm gonna talk to Alice and Alpha No and Selene everyone first before I do the cutscene. Okay. One small bear becomes another. And yeah, you're right. It's like the it must be your crafting stuff that you want to do, right? Um, I don't know. I'm not quite quite sure, but I'll. I'll check it out off stream. It has a, it has a blue uh, quest marker though. Gotcha. It's red for me, so. Yeah, it only has a blue quest marker when I'm changed to an artisan class. Looks like Graha's about to. Exp oh, I just clicked on Graha by the way. Uh, it looks like he's about <laughs> to explain to us a bit more in depth of what the skull art explains. Oh, from the other science. Okay, so they're all gonna probably start taking down towers, or do they still need us to do that? We're probably gonna be the ones to go and summon them. Maybe some will need our help. Vilbrind. What? The fact that Estinian just takes takes orders from Lollafels so easily. <laughs> he knows the wrath of Kral and Tataru is not worth <laughs> arguing. I actually think the friendship's really cute. <laughs> Poor Kryle, she can't go anywhere. I'm genuinely surprised that we've been allowed to stay. I really thought we were about to get kicked out and we'd have to kind of sneak around. <laughs> you mean the same way where we were flushed out of you old off, but we were yeah. totally able just to exactly. come back as much as we wanted to? Exactly, that's what I was thinking. Wanna talk to Kryle real quick? Hi, Kyle. I want to pet her. How far is this? We are oh, it's actually hard. in Limsa. Heading to Limsa? Right to Limsa. Alright, teleporting. And we're back. Back in Limsa Luminsa. Limsa Luminsa. Shady's back. Back again. Looks like we're gonna get rid of the tower in Limsa then, maybe. I suspect so. I don't know we're delivering all the uh to go all the different leaders. Yeah. 
because it does look like we're heading over to see uh, Merlid. Uh, the Wade NPC. Okay, there you go. He did not appear for me. <laughs> I was like, I was like, wow, I'm not loaded in. That's weird. Yeah. Three of the most powerful women in the world in one room. Oh, are all of them there right now? It's, a, it's all the leaders. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Oh, they are all women. I didn't really think about it. <laughs> I don't have to worry about calling me here. I can teleport. Oh, don't worry, we got just the thing. I really want us to get this race as one of the ones it can be. The one that the seats here is. Oh, yeah. primals. We might be going around getting some... killing some of them. I knew this was gonna happen. Well, at least have to do one of them. It might be a case of, like, we're gonna divide up the scions. Some scions will go one way or one place. Some scions will go one place, you know. So the people of Garlemald have also become thralls or whatever. That makes sense though, because I can't imagine all of them agree with what's happening. I'm sure most of them are like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Right, the biggest tower is in Garlemald. Mm -hmm. Are we heading to the main one, I wonder? Wouldn't that be crazy? So I've been slightly spoiled on a location in this game because don't I was tell looking me, don't up tell me. crafting things, but I'm not going to tell you. Yeah, don't don't even talk about it anymore. <laughs> I, I don't want to know. <laughs> also, Nick says posture check. Good idea. I'm sliding down again. I have been sliding down this chair all day. Maybe it's my pants. <laughs> I need different pants that don't slide <laughs> on this chair. <laughs> for honor and glory for the people of Garlemald. For Red and against the Talafroy. Ooh, I don't know. For the people of Garlemald, let's save them. I'm here to liberate the people. 
I'm here for the people. I'm here for the people. That's what I've always been here for. I showed up and was like, where are the people at? <laughs> I am the people. I am the people. I like this music. I'm a bingo and then head to Ilsa Bard, okay. Where is Ilsa Bard again? Uh, I think Ilsa Bard's Garlemald, is not it? I have no clue. I, guess we'll find I out. like this song! The drama! I'm about to raise up the volume for myself. The violins. Woo! Did you hear? I don't know if you can hear the. They did the. I, I forgot what it is, but you know, on the drum, the little, the metal disc. I can't remember the name of it, but that. Symbol. The symbol is it? Is that what it is? I don't know, but it, the drama of it. Oh my goodness! I hope we hear more of that. All right, off to the Elamigan quarter. <laughs> Why are we chuckling? I'm here to make make war in my tank. <laughs> Meanwhile, me turning up on my Sheba. Okay, back in the robot. Yeah. Oh, they're coming with us? Oh, no, nah, damn it. That would have been so cool. I always love when we get like Emrick and Roban and any of the leaders with us. bad that people don't understand that even regular civilians in Garlemald need help as well. Mm -hmm. They're innocent. It's the people in power making the, the trouble. Meet again. Oh! Guys! I forgot that he's here still. <laughs> <laughs> he's not coming either. Right, he was accused of the murder. We will look more suspicious. That's unfortunate. I'm sure he really wishes he could come with that stuff. Funny because he tried to kill us like two expansions, three expansions ago. <laughs> <laughs> His change of heart, I feel, is still the most abrupt. I get it, but at the same time, he went from like kind of a little unhinged about what he wants 
Yeah, a bit more level-headed, which is what I was surprised me. I mean... I felt like he would be more yeah, like Nero. Nero did, yeah. You know, like, but he, he's a lot more level-headed. But he was always the calmer one, I guess. Hanging back on it. He never really was much for, like, unhinged reactions and whatnot. Let's see what the top looks like. Damn, no, it's that ugly, same old ugly <laughs> top that they always give. I was really hoping. Okay, I'm gonna accept all the stuff as Reaper then. <laughs> we got a mystery gift. Mystery prize. Mystery prize. Yes, please. To the royal palace. Into the royal palace. In Alamigo? The palace. We haven't been inside since the whole war that was happening. Mm hmm. When we took it back from Garlemald. By the twelve. Woo! Look at us! Look at all the people here! Looks like Lisa's coming. I hope. Glad you could join us. I hope you don't mind, but we went ahead and started without you. They got everyone As here. you can imagine, our traveling companions were eager to become acquainted. Tis a rare thing indeed to see such a diverse and talented group of individuals assembled for a single purpose. We fight not only I like how for they the keep sake of Eorzea, referring but for the entire other world, other expansions music. Much rides on Every time you go to a certain like area, tangent. it always has the music from that time. I like it a lot. Indeed, yeah, which but is we're getting Heaven Sword with <gasps> Lucia! Many trusted comrades, yourselves included. Uh, awesome. I'm glad we at least get her. Lucia. Always great to see her. She's I've so come cool. at the behest of Lord Emmerich who has honored me with the role of Ishgard's representative. And for the good of all nations, not least my former homeland, I am determined to see this mission through to its end. It feels hard road uh, us, important that she's here, because she is Garland. Together. Or Ishgardian Garland? <laughs> Ish Ishgardian. We too welcome this opportunity know. to work this guardian together. guardian hyphenated Garlean. I have faith that <laughs> if there is a way to resolve this conflict, we not will the find Lala Fells. Allow me to introduce you to the rest of our company. Everyone, if I may have your attention. <laughs> not the jumping in sync. They couldn't have varied the animation <laughs> for that. <laughs> Please. The Lala troop. Might I ask you to speak first? Oh right, this is one of the if CC I gears. I am Arun Senna, spokesman for the Gridanian delegation. Here on behalf of my esteemed sister, the elder Seedseer. He's the we white mage kid that didn't want to accept us at first, right? During our time in Gollum. Yep. To that end, oh, I guess they're not I kids, they're by Helis, adults, selected by the Conjurer's Guild. Young like children. With the order of the twin Adder's finest serving as our escort. He's looking at me and saying, with a white mage such as yourself, I'm currently a black mage, my friend. Of course. With an experienced white mage, such I as said the same to me as well, because well, I have white mage too. <laughs> to involved treatment will be in safe hands. Raya o I'm currently a scholar. Guards, excuse me. Suppose I'd better say my piece. Oh, this guy. Uh, uh -huh. Wait, I know you. The pirate guy, Sicard. Yes. Why was he bothering Sikard. us? In case you forgot. Oh, and Limsa. Wait, wait, wait. Truth be told, I'd rather you had forgotten. 
Any road, the Admiral asked Captain Hillfear to send his best, and for whatever reason, is this not this? This is the guy from the Scholar Quest, the one next to him, the little Lala. I refused, I'll be the laughing stock of the bloody executioners, and my reputation's taken enough of a key hauling as it is. But more I cannot remember his like name. any pirate worth his salt, I know when you're staring down a storm, you gotta trust in the commander of your ship. So if the Admiral wants us to go to Garlemald, not for plunder and glory, but a promise of peace in our time, Look at him. then that's oh, he's what changed. we'll do. Since we all know the how black much mages the are here too, I wonder steel, if they'll say something to me. We I, thought we'd bring along the scholar guy didn't say anything to me. To make so. the most of it. But it looks Give like all the teachers from the different together, classes are, are here. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, just like the Gradanians, we got fighters of our own. We might have come with a more constructive purpose in mind, but we're more than capable of cracking skulls. Believe you me. <laughs> Believe you me. Well, you're certainly raring to go. But then again, so are we. The most dependable warriors of Uldar and Alamigo have assembled at the Sultana and General Aldin's behest. If Garlemald has truly fallen, then that the whole place other, is likely the to be green Lala in the must be whoever he we'll need you plenty of troops to clear and hold a path for others to follow. Whatever they call it. That's where we come in. <laughs> Naturally, Marshal Tarapin and I will be leading from the front. <laughs> Lee and the Lalas. <laughs> it's been some time since I last saw you in your element on the battlefield. It wasn't too long ago. From what I've heard, you've become pretty fearsome yourself. Master Matoya, the Avatar of Destruction. Not the Avatar of Destruction. <laughs> you stole his face. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the J. With comrades Please. like these, I know we'll succeed, no matter what awaits Wait, why does this feel like we're like hitting the climax already? And, but, and I'm pretty sure we're like still at the beginning. Rest. There's no way. But we're definitely then, still in the beginning. Let's give it yeah. That's very dramatic. This is all of Endwalker. It was just like a little snippet As and we Ishgar, go and fight Zeno and we're done. <laughs> we're done now. Endwalker's over. To the peace and welfare of our that means we've got a lot more to do in Endwalker. Oh, wait, we do have to go to the freaking moon at some point, itself. right? Yeah, the moon is one of the big ones. Nice that that trailer has got me curious the about ahead. the moon. Accordingly, I have been designated commander of the Ilzabad contingent. I will do all in my power to provide you with the leadership and guidance you require. Oh, so she's like the overall leader. The four leader. high houses, House Hylenard foremost among them, have arranged for a host of machinists to join us on our mission. Their knowledge of Imperial Magitech is sure to be a great boon. They will address any problems of a technical nature together with the smiths of Limpsa Lumitsa. Look at all the nations working together. There is another Snow. awaiting hey, introduction. Hello. Hello, hello. Oh my god! Lord Emanolaine! <laughs> Emanolaine! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, yes. Uh, Emanolaine de Fortal. Look at, at him. <laughs> Though, lest there be any misunderstanding, I should I'm glad stress he's not that I've not become a fearsome as used to be. warrior while you were away. Rather, far from it, actually. My brother, in his infinite wisdom, decided this would be a I do hope he doesn't die in this. He's also grown a lot as a character. Oh, and fight for world peace and all that. Especially after his brother. But should the opportunity arise for a spot of horror dancing, I will in front of be everybody. a twinkle-toed <laughs> gentleman of light. Not the gentleman of light, please. May your graceful prancing lead the way to victory. <laughs> he dare say your fancy footwork. <laughs> All that stands between us and certain doom. <laughs> Please, I'll figure that one. <laughs> Huzzah! I cannot wait to regale Onohoa with my tales of daring do. Oh, Onohoa didn't come. <laughs> I believe that concludes introductions for the Grand Company of Eorzea. 
Our allies from the Eastern Alliance were due to arrive. Oh sometime no! Ago, but it would appear they have been delayed. Oh, they're gonna have a dramatic entrance. He and and There's, Yuri and all of them. Would that be the Shinobi? There's again? a dramatic entrance. Actually, I'm a little ahead of you. Oh my God! No. Back and forth between the various Eastern nations. According to Lord Hien, however, an equally capable company of warriors has been sent in their stead. Oh. Out of my way, you preening fool! Not the preening fool. <gasps> oh no, don't tell me. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> the mall. Little son! The mall are here! And I forgot what the other tribes were. Ah. Uh, love these. <laughs> love these Forgive characters. us for coming late. We are the delegates of the Eastern Alliance. Sirena, and you've brought company. For battle and blood we come, as a step is sorely lacking in both. I'm actually and kind of surprised that they decided to come, so like, because they're the leaders. But it makes sense also because they do like war, or at least fighting. Mm -hmm. But now our thirst for slaughter will be slaked. <laughs> no quarter to the enemy! Sadu Hatun, no. We go to make peace with the Iron Men, not war. Warriors of the Steppe, <laughs> we've Giggling. heard many tales of your bravery. We welcome you as allies. And these other ones you have brought are... <laughs> Not the other ones you've brought. Members of the Dalmascan Resistance Group, Lente's Tears. We haven't met them, right? And the Bosnian Resistance. Between them, they have They're just other countries that also espionage. needed help. But. And are particularly adept at infiltrating Yeah, they, they were we mentioned only, back, we only met them back in the first. Yeah. Since Garnemol's domain yeah. is so vast that I could never hope to handle reconnaissance. It was a way to, to shoehorn in races that weren't technically introduced Dalmasca, yet. Bosnia, yeah. Alamigo. All lands which have Because they did talk the about the, the Yeah, they've um, talked about those countries but not about presume to question your motives. Like the fact that the, the people Garlis, themselves. Yeah. Because Garlemald has basically held them the or, or colonized the them or whatever. The so it yeah. makes sense that we never saw them. It's a good way to write it off. And they are victims, make no mistake. Though I understand that many may struggle to see them as such. You're more right than you know. For every one of us that answered the call, there were a dozen that refused. Not only in Alamigo, but everywhere we went. And who could blame them? The Empire's always been the enemy. We've still got a mighty force, even if it's not a lot of people. It's still enough. But after seeing what we've seen, fighting and working against and with Garlians, there's no denying the simple truth. They're just people. No different from you or I. They've got their share of liars and murderers, but so do we. So do we all. That's so true, Lee. For Dola, who once swore herself to Garlemald, has proven herself a trusted ally time and time again. Every Aeorzean here knows Sid Garland, the Imperial defector who shared with us countless technological wonders. Maxima, who stands with us today, Tried to reform Garlemald from within and make peace with Joma. So you can believe me when I say that every fighter here understands and accepts that the Imperials Lisa's are not such monsters a great and are deserving of help. Mm -hmm. Or at least that they were able to put aside their feelings for the greater good. It won't be easy. She's really grown but we're all past trying to, make to become this world her sister. A place. And I really love that for her. What lingering concerns I may have had were clearly unwarranted. I, I really like this, all our, all the characters we've met so far. It really does feel like a conclusion. <laughs> Although I know there's a lot more left, we are in but... There's definitely now, a lot more left. At least strategy. we're dealing with what's happening in Eorzea for now. To reach the Galian capital in northern Ilsebard, we must cross the central mountain range. And Ilsebard is Fortunately, Garland Ironworks can provide aerial <laughs> transport, Wald. sparing us this most treacherous part of our journey. However, attempting to fly any closer to Garlemald would attract the attention of the Telophoroi. 
As they appear to have seized control of the majority of the Imperial military, we must assume that includes its fleet. In addition, Garlemald possesses devices that can interfere with airship navigational systems, oh. further discouraging an airborne approach. Given the circumstances, the closest we dare deploy our contingent is an area between maybe the that's going to be a dungeon the where we Blackness. walk through, or maybe an instance where we from there we must travel the rest our way of the through way on foot. We will also need to bring the airships with us to ensure we can withdraw with haste. Although much of the terrain will be blanketed in snow, we should be able to make use of local roads and shipping facilities. The vast ice field will afford us an unobstructed view of the surrounding area. On the other hand, it will also allow others to easily spot us. So it is imperative that we only make camp in positions where we can easily defend ourselves. And the airships, which must be kept safe at all costs. We cannot account for every okay, possibility. Give me one second here. So I we must be, right be prepared no worries, to think I'm still on in the our feet. We will be tested. Sorely tested, I expect. But for our homes and for our people, and a people not our own but in need, we will succeed. Spare no effort in your preparations. Once we depart, there is no turning back. I love how intense that was. I'll just wait for Fluffy to get back. I guess we can talk to the characters, actually. God, there's so many people to speak to. <laughs> oh god, uh... Let me see Raina first. Grandmother's word for you. Two suns burning red, other frozen black. Closer they circle, they dance. The world fell to ruin, the blinding chaos she spied black and blue. The mere once once was yours. One burning red, other frozen black. I wonder if it's like us and Xenos. Interesting. Are you talking to everybody? Oh, I was uh, talking to Serena. Uh, listen to what her prophecy is. Or her grandmother's. I feel like it's talking about us and Xenos. And yeah, I am talking to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like in stories like this, you always find a little extra info when you do this. It's worth talking to the people. It does sound like us and Xenos. Sadu and Siri now have become friends. That's so cute. I thought I would get something special talking to Kokobuki, but nope. Nothing? Uh, Nothing. I'm trying to talk to everybody. So start on the right. Oh, I accidentally clicked past this onion. That's what I was saying, Estinian. Fine, Mr. Alice, have to offer. I think it's because it's all our friends, that's why it feels different. Uh, yeah, Alkazolka, yeah, he's the scholar. <laughs> or, well, he's he's a, not a scholar, but <laughs> he's the one in the scholar quest. To victory! Yes. Alright, okay. The Marauder uh, guy talks about me, though. He's like, They were talking about you. You should come by and visit again. When you killed the. The, the Marauder guy? That creature, yeah. Who is the, the big guy? guy with the axe? Oh 
Oh, I, I can't talk to him because I don't know him. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, I can't talk to the, uh, the pugilist girl here, but I can talk to Lee. Can, can you talk to Six? You can't talk to Skin. Mm -hmm. Or Sicard. Yeah. Yeah. I see. So you can only talk to the characters you've. Uh... Like, could you talk to Alkazolka, the Lalafell with the yellow ponytail? Uh, no, I cannot. Yeah, that must be the the jobs we've unlocked. So you should have more than me because I haven't unlocked all of them. Or most. It's of them. funny though because there's like there's no one that represents Dark Knight. There's no one that yeah. represents the Paladin. Wait, is there someone? There? I would say Pippin, but he talks to you anyway. At least telling me not to die. Don't worry, at least I'm the, the main character. If I die any, at any point, it would be like at the very end of the game. <laughs> and that with Dontrell coming out, I'm pretty sure I live. I really wish we could walk up to Magna and it would give us the choice to call him Little Son. <laughs> Little Son. Just harass him. There's no one for Bard, though. Interesting. I, th I guess it's just random. Yeah. <laughs> Not a man of lane try gonna try to shoot a shot with Serena and Sadu. <laughs> Sadu will kill him if he tries. Did you pick up Machinist? I did not. I can talk to the Machinist guy. Cause I, had pick I did pick up Machinist. I think I have only Thancred and Ariane J left to talk to. Oh, he's telling us about the bunny and the Rothgar people. Because we've never met them here before. Technically, yeah. Alright, time to talk to Yashola. Hold on, I need to get my allergy medicine because I am. I feel my. my airway is feeling all. ugh, right now. Hold on, give me one second. I'm still here. I'm just reaching far away. <laughs> no worries. Look all weird if I. <laughs> I tried it anyway. <laughs> it's a schleppy stream now. No, I'm still here. I'm, I'm the only on. VTuber. I'm, I'm the only VTuber on this. this uh... <laughs> this screen. The coolest PNG tuber known to man. Slappy. Hold on, let me. <laughs> it just made you huge on my screen. Oh my god. Ugh. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna mute while I take my bed. This is my stream now. I'm dual streaming. Two, ch two channels. There we go, I can breathe again. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. There we go. Shrink you down again a little bit. Okay. Time to talk to you, Shola. Okay. Oh, it looks like so there were more people who wanted to come, but because they wouldn't be able to survive the winter area. Yeah. That's oh, good to now know. Oh, now I have to talk to- Oh my god. 
Oh, Serena. Now we have to talk to we have to talk to a bunch of people. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad I talked to them before all that because I imagine we would lose. Oh, we give them the scales. Oh, makes sense that they would they would like pass it around to their groups. Here is the scale. Oh, a message from Hien. I would- I wish we could have P in here, but I bet you Giri will come instead. I don't think Hien's had any talking- talking points. In a while. <laughs> in a while, yeah. He's a great character. I'm glad that they did send a seed here. It does feel like they kind of stay in their little bubble sometimes. But of course their priority is the forest of Kudani or whatever, so... Yeah. So they'll be following us from the ocean side of things. <laughs> Tempering waves, is that the right term? Listen, Lise, I don't even know. I'm always saying random stuff about <laughs> what to call it. The magic brainwashing. Yeah, okay. I was, I've been using Airways. Thrall most of the time, honestly. And last but not least, Lucia. Here you go. It is interesting that she's leading the mission to save the countrymen she betrayed. In a way, she's like a main character too. <laughs> <laughs> of her own story. I believe in you, Lucia. Oh, Maxima! I don't know, we can talk to him too. Oh, it's really cold? Okay. I mean, I'm kind of dressed warmly. More warmly than I usually am. I've just got one arm out. It's my uh, enchanting arm. <laughs> my magic arm. I hold my book with it. Alright! Here we go. Oh, our friends again. Okay, I'm gonna talk to everybody. Okay. <laughs> he wants to expand his wardrobe. <laughs> Graha. Graha's like, I need to be dressed for the occasion. Austinian's prepared. Oh, they're saying, okay, if you need any to do anything else, go do it now. <laughs> Gonna be cold. Oh, do we need to bring like potions to stay warm? I wonder. Probably not. The game would give us a warning saying you need X, Y, and Z, or they'd give oh, us true. gear. Or they, yeah, or they might give us something at the end of this quest anyway. 
or we're gonna start going there and then a dragon's gonna show up and be like here is your power of withstanding all the cold oh. goodbye <laughs> or we just start just taking like... damage and die <laughs> <laughs> die <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, wait, I didn't hear what she said. I, didn't, I said I didn't hear as I'm reading, but I did because I was talking to you. I didn't read it. <laughs> you know how it, how it goes. It's the same way like when I'm parking. If I'm listening to music, I have to like turn it down. You turn I, it down because I can't yep. see. <laughs> the music. Yeah. It's funny. That's how I felt right then. Uh, all right. Everyone looks like they've dressed warmly enough. Honestly. Maybe Orange still uh, arms Orange out. has no yeah. sh has no. He's just got his arms out. Leaves. He says, "Sun's out, I'll guns say out." He's still in shorts. I mean, she's still got a jacket. Girls, girls do that all the time. And her her boots. She's got a little sliver of skin showing. Also, I accidentally clicked on Alpha now. So. Oh well, now I'm clicking on him too. Last chance to make ready. Oh, okay, they're probably gonna put on a jacket. It reminds me of the time when we were in Corythus and Menphelia came, she was wearing a jacket. Maybe they'll be something like that. <laughs> You're still like, I'd rather freeze to death than wear one of those jackets. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, Yastola. Oh, I think we're getting... <gasps> oh! Outfit? I think we're getting our outfits. But I, I like mine, but I kind of curious what Tataru is cooked up. So winter outfits for everybody, or just like a winter coat for everybody? Tataru? <laughs> were, we, were we focusing on random parts of her? I know, we're, we're focusing on very random parts. Is she gonna have a scary face? Oh, Is no, she coming okay. with us? Cause she's got a coat on. You will wear these garments I made for you. The tower you design cute clothes, or I should say, cool clothes. Oh. Oh, the tower just dressed up for the fun of it. I was wondering why we didn't get an outfit for N Walker yet, but there we go. Because they've consistently given us one for each one, except for Heaven's Ward, right? I think that's the only one we didn't get one for. I think so. Or at least I can't remember one. Access to Hydrate. Get some water. <laughs> the, <tar room. laughs> the brackets. Oh, she's heading to Charlene. That must be that gift with the question marks. I think so. I'm kind of curious what it is. Winter woolies. <laughs> Thanks, Ataru. Oh, it looks like this. That's kind of cute. <laughs> I look really cozy in it, actually. What is everyone else going to look like in theirs, though? They've all left us, I don't know. I could put it on, and I kind of want to, but I like my outfit too much. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you, Tataru. Like with my gear on. I mean, mm. it looks like what I think it looks like. Is yours the same as mine? Yeah. It's just smaller. Here, let me- I'll just 
<laughs> I've been patted, and I got smaller. a thing that popped up on my screen. 150 pats. Uh, where is... Cast Glamour. It's called North Sea Coat. It is called North Sea Coat. <laughs> you look so cute. <laughs> <laughs> look at him. Oh my god. Please. That's adorable. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> what, what, what pet are you on? 160. Oh, okay. Good. Nice even number. All right. Talk to Tataru. All right. The airship will take us kind of, not all the way, but somewhat of the way, right? To make sure I add this, that coat to my glamour dresser. I need to do. Ooh, an instance. Okay. Well, I'm about to wear shorts. Because <laughs> 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 those pants do not, <laughs> I need to have them for Reaper. All right. Here we go. Short. Several cutscenes will play in sequence. It's recommended you I set aside sufficient much. time. I expected this We are heading into Garlemal, looks like. The last so. cutscene was like 18 years long. It was, but it did stop in between. I imagine this doesn't at all. I guess. Alright. I mean, we've got nothing but time, honestly. Yep. Let's proceed. Here we go. Into the unknown. Ilsebad, divided in twain by a vast mountain range. Those who would traverse its jagged peaks face peril at every step. But why go by foot when one can simply fly? Who is this voice? It really does. I'm literally looking it up. Yeah, please do. I feel like it, it is, is Emmett Self. It is Emmett Self. Okay, it's yeah. Because that the way he said the fly part, I was like, it feels like it is Emmett Self. I know we were like. Yeah, on as the soon as, as soon as he started talking again, I was Austria, like, I have to go yeah. look this up. This is driving me bonkers. Yeah. The frozen wastes of the Magna Glacius. Not the Magna Glacius. The winds howl in icy protest, as if to warn against further trespass. Everyone does have a coat on. Graha looks like Thancred. Oh, really? I need to see. <laughs> Lisa's got a winter outfit, too. <laughs> Me with my shorts. God doesn't look like Thancred. He's got, like, a furry coat. Well, he's got, like, the white, long trench coat thing. It just it gives me Thancred vibes. Word from Thancred's reconnaissance party. They have sighted a detachment of heavily armed Imperials. Survivors of the Civil War, perhaps. Oh, I love Alice's pink coat. Perhaps, but there is more to it than Orianje that. is also put on a cape. Maxima reports that they are led by Vagilia, Legatus of the Third Legion, which comprises the bulk of their number. She looks like a... However, they dragoon. are also joined by several members oh, no, of the Oh no, that first. looks like a, a gun, gun lance. From what I recall, the Third Legion fought for Nerva in the War of Succession following Varus's death. The First, on the other hand, were under the direct command of the Emperor and rejected Nerva's claim to the throne. These legions were enemies. Indeed. In fact, our sources claim that it was a conflict between them that sparked the Civil War. Hmm. Yet now, these former foes cooperate to defend a ruined Garlemald from invasion. Could it be there? They were coerced or Then thralled. it is all but certain they yeah. have been tempered. Tempered, that's the word. I have to remember, tempered is the word. Tempered, tempered, tempered. So, what's the plan? If me and my crew is out reaving, we charge straight in, no messing about. But that ain't what we're here for. 
quite right. Soldiers or no, there are people of Garlemald. For reason, the very ones we have come to aid. <laughs> Direct confrontation is unavoidable. <laughs> Nevertheless, we must make every effort to limit casualties on both sides. He's like, I promise, Rather right? than yeah. kill them, I would remove them. Astinian the just does not care. I mean, look at all the How gear so? he's got on. Savage beatings, disarmament, and imprisonment. I'm gonna pretend he's got like hot packs. Not his impossible. Armor. <laughs> but easier said than done. He's acting all cool because he is warm in there. Having observed the opposition, I imagine Thancred had something to suggest. He has the heart of Dragonfire. <laughs> Cold does not affect him. Yes, the heart he of Dragonfire. He and the other scouts have already infiltrated a supply depot some distance beyond the Imperial Detachment's current position. Stored within is a stockpile of Magitek armaments. And once we give the signal, Thancred's team will destroy them all. In so doing, we will deprive frontline troops of materiel and likely force the detachment to send men to investigate. Divide and conquer. Not a bad idea. Once the scouts have finished their preparations, we will split into two groups. The first will form the vanguard, while the other brings up the rear with our supplies. The way I am standing here with shorts. As for the scions, I you should have been wearing your little Russian hat. You deem it needed most. <laughs> oh, that would be perfect. Damn it, you're right. I would prefer, however, that you accompany the rear guard and be prepared it's to join the now. van at a moment's notice. It's too late now. Kept in reserve as our trump card, so to speak. Russian hat with shorts. Damn. Oh, my lipstick looks like white. And that's light. I'm freezing to death. Meanwhile, this Thancred's group. Ooh, Thancred's outfit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Your proposal was well received. More specifically, they asked that we destroy the Imperials' toys in as spectacular a fashion as possible. <laughs> Not the Imperials' toys. Ishtola always did have a flair for the dramatic. She's not an easy woman to please, but I shall do my best to satisfy her thirst for fireworks. Okay. I don't have to say it like that. <laughs> All right. Once more for my peace of mind. Yes, please Our explain for us. Our first objective will be to rig the enemy's magitech with explosives. After we've withdrawn to a safe distance, we'll detonate them remotely. I feel a little bad because the magitech's a bit sentient. So I'm sad that, that we're just blowing them up. Via the control <laughs> terminal. If our calculations are correct, this signal should reach those deployed on the front line, giving our friends a much-needed upper hand. Better stretch real quick. The blizzard will help us stay hidden, so let's aim to get in and out before it passes. Hmm. Trust in the plan, and we should all live to see tomorrow. In the meantime, I will relay messages back and forth as the situation unfolds. You'll forgive me if I ask again, but are you certain you wish to play the lone wolf? Wouldn't have it any other way. Call it foolish and reckless if you like, but I'll get the job done. I believe I in you, Dinkred. Very well. I hope with Dawn Trail we fix some of the physics with clothes and the wind. That'd be nice. Oh, okay. I do like that Final Fantasy cares about those details of having them wear like winter outfits and stuff. Yeah. Oh! Yep, we're playing as uh, a Thinkred. Threat awareness. Did we talk to Max? I was looking at his. his uh... But he's got her skills first. Oh, I'm yeah. thinking. That's a good idea. Um, I need to move this around actually because this is overlapping the threat awareness. Like 
Okay. Uh, reduces damage taken. Mass presence. Interesting. Well, the target is Magitek or a guard dog, so it does more damage. That was a bomb. I there's no way I'm gonna remember any of this. It's gonna be <laughs> clicking buttons. All right, let's just do it. If Keep I die, I die. You. It's time. We only have one shot at this. Oh wait, so I'm not going there. My my mission is different. Okay, I'm here. Mm. Must be losing my touch. Oh wait, am I supposed to be sneaking in? Yes. Oops. I uh, I started attacking them. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'm still alive. Wait, no, I, oh, yeah, I shouldn't have pressed that button. Oh, at least that's one last person I have to worry about. Oh, cool. What did that do here? Oh. Okay. Oh, so am I supposed to distract this guy, or can I interact with this? You can... Four will let you instantly incapacitate someone. I've got you. If you're sneaking. I'm still sneaking, yeah. Set explosives. So that would be the fifth one, right? That's. No, oh, you just no, no, walk no. up and interact with them. Okay, yeah, I see it now. They don't notice the door <laughs> going away. <laughs> so what? Bomb them? Ah, incapacitated it. Oh, this is interesting. I was not expecting this kind of gameplay. Why is there stealth in my, uh... Stealth in my Final Fantasy game? This is Tancred. The explosives uh, are in on place. It. Yeah, I've done it. Very good. All is proceeding as planned. Head to the control terminal. It should be to the northwest. Northwest? Understood. Have the others wait at the rendezvous uh, point. So we're heading back now? I'm in a bad position. The Magitek Slasher's there. for the Magitek Slash or two. Oh damn. I didn't know it was going to stop there. Oh, 
Got it. Where am I meant to stand for this? Don't see, see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. Withdraw from the supply people. Like where? Like do I go outside? Oh. I think you have to yeah. go through all those. I did it. You just have to go outside, right, right behind you, from the Magic Tech terminal. You don't have to go back out through the thing. Wait, what? Yeah, you don't have to go back out through the whole thing. You just go outside, right? Up. The door's right behind you. Oh, I was going deeper in. What? Oh, uh, I disabled like the you big Magic Tech. And none the worse for wear, to my considerable relief. Huh? What news from our comrade? There's like those big robots. I disabled the them with the Magitech terminal. Excellent. It's like it was on its then own. Let the like fireworks in, like a, begin. It wasn't a, it wasn't a door or anything like that. But when I disabled Did you go it, the, with all the dogs and the big giant things walking around. Uh, yes, those big giant things are what I disabled at the terminal. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then right behind you, a door opens up, or next to you, you just go right out. Oh, there. I got into combat because oh. I was. Distracted. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, it's fine. I was like, what, what do you mean you were- I think I was just ahead of you. I think you got ahead of me somehow. The blizzard's beginning to clear. The vanguard should be engaging the Imperials any moment now. If they haven't already. I think I was more decisive. Oh. I just went for Istola it. <laughs> I think you did. I was going sure around the sides right, and but... sneaking. No, no, I was I was going immediately. <gasps> Wait! Something's coming. What are those? Bulldogs? Oi oi! Looks like we ain't the only ones who oi, sent oi. out scouts. Keep them away from the carriages! We lose those, and we're as good okay. as dead! I see. Time to protect. Why do I just fight everything? Fighters! Protect the others! I bring it all close to each other. Come Brief respite, but stay alert. Keep the carriages safe. What? The savior of Iskard is here! 
Good battle lane. Sure, he can give me the savior of his charge. If his heart desires. Display, but the other carriages are still in danger. Go on ahead. We'll hold the line. We're the only ones still struggling. Time we put our backs into it then. I've been itching for a good scrap. <laughs> I've been itching for a good scrap. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> it's the the pirate guy. Oh, I have to be standing there. Did it work? I don't know. Did it work? No, it didn't. Don't stand in front of it. Oh, the the other tanks are doing that. I'm supposed to attack it. Doesn't matter, I got you. You know, right back there. Is that it? I'm doing all right. Ready for more? Hear that? Get to the front and turn the tide. Head north, okay. Makes this posture check, yes. Meanwhile, on the front line. Remove from the field was not a euphemism for enthusiastically murder. <laughs> it's nothing that won't heal in time. That's <laughs> titty. <laughs> Please. The trouble is, their tempering has made them utterly fearless. Subduing them would be easier if they had the capacity to submit in the first place. Well, this is the path our young charges would have us walk, and that we all agreed to follow. You knew it would be hard, yet still you pledged your lance, did you not? That I did. Gilia. Damn it. I need to help the others take her down. Have no fear. Mona is here. Or not. There's no end to them. We're gonna oh. play as Lucia or no, something. No, 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 I'm here. <laughs> it is I, Mona. In I was my wondering shorts. when you turn up. Oh, I have to run. I was like standing here doing nothing. Yeah, you just keep heading north every time.
There's no stopping us now. Come they on. won't activate until Let's you move there. Let's show them what we're made of. Show them what we're made of. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, I forgot to eat, so I'm gonna eat right now. We have them now! Forward! Alright, here we go! It's so weird seeing like them do mechanics over there. That's her, the Gilia. That's her, the Gilia. Do not fall behind. Not the Giga Tempest.
tremble before the sun! There's a lot going on. Yeah. Oh, I did it. Nice. My goodness. You discovered a new location. Adversary. <laughs> Rest, recover, reclaim yourself. Then we will fight again <laughs> to the death. Sadu Hatun. <laughs> he got ignored again. I'm dead. Please. That was the last of them. Deserved. The day is ours, thanks to your timely arrival. What of the supply caravan? Also, I hope you got a good rest, Axel. Hmm. Outmaneuvered, but not outmatched. Good. Let us take the Imperials into custody and rejoin our comrades. Sounds like a plan. And soon we shall arrive at the capital. That is a crazy looking tower. That looks absolutely insane. So cold and unforgiving. Oh, it's, it's straight Thus into another spoke cutscene. Emperor Solace as he gazed upon his barren domain. Eight hundred years it had been since the Garleans first set foot here. Bested by the Kavosi, after centuries of war oh my God. and driven from fertile southern pastures into the blasted northern wastes. In that garden of desolation, they clung to one another for warmth. Freezing, hungry, desperate, hated. How do people even live here? What? The Chosen Forsaken. Did you get the, like, victory music through the... Yeah, what's that do? Uh, yeah, okay. I was like, In this feels weird. In the year 1513 of the Sixth Astral Era, a young I mean, she is the one who Solace defeated them for us. <laughs> sparked the Magitech revolution. I don't have to sneeze. How did he conceive the machina that feed on ceruleum? Hmm. Once a common, soft-spoken soldier, how had he so quickly ascended through the ranks? Like so many others, those who knew the truth are gone. Mm. Taking in the capital with his eyes for the first time, I recall thinking to myself, far colder on the earth than in the heavens. Yes, far colder indeed. Carl really does need so. her help. Also, that freaking tower, holy shit. Kind of reminds me of like how Yulmore was, where the people inside were doing great, not without a care to the world. They just care about war. Not so much as a whisper. But all the people outside are. The roads suffering. leading beyond the city walls would have been used less in recent years. Nevertheless, this was one of the most important gateways into the capital. 
her buzz day and night with activity, aye. Merchants passing through the checkpoint, many of them stopping at the local hostelries. Surely they cannot all have been tempered. Oh, they all got tempered. Okay, never mind. Not that they were We suffering. can consider the question after we have made camp. If we spend any longer outside, we may well freeze to death where we stand. The tempered Imperials, too. This will be our temporary base of operations. Secure shelter for ourselves and the injured, and dispatch scouts to survey the surrounding area. If we're planning on staying here a while, we ought to give this place a proper name. Hmm. Well, the constant sound of ice cracking underfoot makes me think of broken glass. An apt name, perhaps. But enough of this. To work, everyone. What? Let's call broken glass then? Yep, it is. <laughs> Switch back to scholars. And this was the area that I was spoiled on that we get to come to Garlemald. It As makes sense location. though that we have to come here. Yeah. That tower looks crazy in the distance. Wow. I'm waiting with Alpha No and I will say whenever you're ready. Okay. I'm still stuck in the cutscene. No worries. Take your time. The fact that Garlemald has Aetherite shards, even though <laughs> they don't have magic. <laughs> That's what I, I was mean, I wondering, they, like, who who's using them then? I guess, I guess Garlemald has taken over a lot of countries that do have magic, so I suspect that Garleans themselves don't have magic, but there are probably folks in Gar Garlemald that do have magic. Maybe, or maybe that one runs on some kind of mad attack, or maybe it's just like a idea of like they can, so they do it. Yeah. You know, while you're in the cutscene, I'm gonna go use the restroom real quick. Okay. I just finished the cutscene, but yes. I'm still gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna stand between Alpha and Alice. I should be right back. Look around real quick. Wait, 
<laughs> I see what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Get comfortable. Uh, there we go. Posture check. <laughs> <laughs> no! What were you planning to do? <laughs> <laughs> I was hmm. gonna do the pumpkin head really, really close. <laughs> you already did it really close. <laughs> I was gonna get really close. Alright, alright. Let's talk to Alpha, though. Okay. Also, Axel, to answer your question, uh, my day was good. Hasn't been that long. <laughs> or actually, I feel like it went by really quickly, I should say. Gotcha. I love that they went in the opposite direction. Mm-hmm. It is unholy looking. It looks crazy. Like, what is that? It's definitely it's the source tower. of the other towers, for sure. 100%. The music's so sad here, too. Oh, they're already receiving treatment? Hopefully once they've been like untempered, they should be able to get their homes back or whatever, but they've got a long way to go for that. Yeah, the way it sounds like it's like, oh, they haven't been ransacked. Yeah, because everybody was yeah. under brain control. All and of them. Away. That's crazy. Like are they they must be so divided. I know that they go to civil war often over everything, it feels like. But it really shows you how much it must be that they literally had to temper their own people to cooperate. That's wild. Got our round table. <laughs> we will begin, yes. Oh, what was that? The way you blend in every time. <laughs> I literally did not see you. <laughs> Were you ass up on the table again? I was ass up on the table again. I was like, I wonder if she'll notice Our present me. situation is as follows. <laughs> Efforts to aid the people of Garlemald have begun in earnest. Moreover, having entered into the capital, the Imperial Palace is within our reach. Within our reach? But before we proceed further, we must learn what has befallen this city. For therein lies the key to understanding and combating the Telophoroi's designs. True. I have a suggestion, if I may. Several of the Imperial soldiers we captured on the Magna Glacias are members of the Populares and acquaintances of mine. Once we have cured them of their tempering, they should be able to give a reliable account of the events leading to the capital's downfall. A promising idea. I will assist the healers and the administration. So that tower is the capital right now? Of course. I think it was it, was, it appeared up atop, atop the capital itself. So. I think that's what they said. Gotcha. Or I wonder if it like took like it over. Hand? You know, like it just grew over it. No, no, I am sure we will manage. Because Fan Daniel's behind Better it. Better that you take I my place in the field. Doing something like that. The noxious ether mm -hmm. of this place disagrees with me. And as I shall need to draw on my own for the treatment, it will be prudent for me to remain within the camp. This talk of curing the tempered is all well and good, but I reckon the cold is a more pressing concern. Valid. It is very cold. All the houses round here are fitted with cerulean eaters that could keep us warm and toasty. Problem is, the machines seem to have given up the ghost, and if we keep sitting around, freezing our asses off, we'll be next. 
It's like we're gonna go around turning on all the cerulean. My Smiths reckon with the right parts, they can have them working again, but it won't be easy. Understood. The machinist will assist them in the repairs. Or not. The rest of us should either stand watch or survey the area. We've made our presence known to the Telophroi. They will be searching for us, if they have not already ascertained our position. I'm sure they know where we're at, because we were kind of obvious. Mm -hmm. That we have seen no sign of them since the battle suggests they have yet to do so. However, I suspect they may be biding their time. Or perhaps we are beneath their notice. Would they really not care if In any event, the Scion, the no Warrior of here. Light, were like literally right here? Orianje, we're kind of and known for visited Garlemald recently. So the running their recalls. plans, yeah. <laughs> Perhaps bolstered by a few Sorry, Bosnian and Damascan scouts from my previous excursion, for good measure. Don't forget about us, Alamegans. We have experienced scouts of our own. Well now, this is turning out to be a rather sizable team. With such numbers, we should be able to cover a wide area with relative ease, including that surrounding the Imperial Palace. How about you, Graha? I have a feeling we'll find a use or two for that vanishing spell of yours. Ooh. <laughs> Twould be my honor to be of service. Though I doubt that you of all people need rely on my tricks. <laughs> That leaves us with guard duty. I could do that. As a matter of fact, I have something else in mind for the two of you and Alphano. Oh? Between here and the center of the capital lies the Eblen Rhine. I would have you search the area for survivors. Well. Your keen sense of direction, honed in your extensive travels, should prove useful in My sense of direction? Um, about that. <laughs> Mono can't even see me walking around. <laughs> Excessive travel is some you know, understatement. Ice fields, I love ice fields. Oh, wait, no, I'll say that. I'll say the first one. I won't say that. I'll say the first one. I've already decided that my main character is the peppy. I have faith that you will, and look main forward to greeting type. you on your safe return. <laughs> Enthusiastic hero. You all have your duties. Let us make haste. May the fury bless Ooh, and keep you. Hat. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Zoro has more sense of direction than you, Axel. <laughs> I would say I'm at least better than Zoro at directions, for sure. I can at least read a map. <laughs> Back to Alice, eh? I'm gonna go look for survivors. Let's go, Natalie. Who is freezing? Which is funny because he's from Ishgard. Oh, I bet we're gonna Not use the that. telescope. I no. know exactly what it's no. gonna be. Fluffy's favorite mini game. Why? Why? It's your favorite mini game. <laughs> oh right, I forgot I could just get on my mount. Why? I do need to switch up which one I'm using. Maybe the the flame. Gosh darn it. It is your favorite one? <laughs> it's definitely headed that direction. Yeah. They really love this this little mini game. <laughs> Just a wind sprite. That's a girl. Oh, 
Oh, maybe not. Running away from something? Oh, maybe she needs help. Not that it matters, I can point out a girl from a mile away. Ah, footprint following. Warming tinctures? Like, hand warmers? They said they had uh, potions that right, 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 hardened right, right. the skin to cold. Godspeed! Got it. There we go. I'm gonna have to sneeze again. But which again. god? Which god speed? Mm, I think my god's the the time one. <laughs> Mine's the one of destruction. How fast does he move? <laughs> I don't remember what mine is. I think it's the time one. I'll I'll think or something like that. Yeah, remember. Mine's Rolger, so easy to remember. I think mine's all thick. Not this giant sheep thing. He's no. Oh, I thought I said oblivious. Ovly. 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 I can't say that. There's no L there. Ovly. There is no L there. Ew, do you see that shell creature? To your left? Ew. Ugh. Hey, they will stand. Search up ahead. No worries. I can do that. Mm. The way I had to. I clicked on you first on that so. <laughs> At least you can see You're like standing right on the destination. <laughs> oh, I see her. At least it hadn't, didn't make us do the stupid sight thing thing. I'm surprised that they did it. I feel it definitely felt like it was going that, that way, but it looked like Amandalane wanted to use his own telescope. Ah, okay. We have to sneak up on her. Ugh. Girl in green. It's like that Metal Gear Solid thing where I had to fall on the streets. <laughs> oh my god, the Genshin one was actually so bad. I always hate doing it. Ew, it makes a weird noise. Ew, I hear it. It's like a squeaking. Oh, she's about to turn around. <laughs> what if I pulled a party popper out of my pocket and fired it? You could do it and she wouldn't even notice the thing. <laughs> I wonder if we could get too close at some point.
I do like the music in this part, yeah. Axel was mentioning it. Ew, not it's the nice. rose. Get that thing away. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> the layers will help me. <laughs> Get that. Put that thing back where it came from. Or so help me. <laughs> it's funny, when you got close, she started running. <laughs> For me. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so... I'm so glad I backed up. I'm so glad I switched to Reaper. I, I got there just in time. Oh my god. It's funny, if we were to like fail right now, we know she's headed for this house. It's the only thing in this direction. I hope. But it would, but it would still go, no, you fail. I'm scared of her turning around, but we can't get too far either. Oh, there we go. Now we can approach her. Duty complete. Snug says posture check. Yes. Good idea. I'm sliding down again from my seat. Ooh, ooh. Not the bonk. Oh god, the way I forgot that she would be Garlean. <laughs> Thanks for the head pat, Thanks. The savages are responsible for this? That's your own people, darling. Or your government, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if she's going to answer us. Or will she? Oh? Oh, interesting. So there was like a call, I guess? I wonder if some are just a little bit more resistant to it. Or one really big primal. No, I mean, uh, there might be some people who are just a little resi more resistant to the call. Yeah, others. but I'm saying the call might have been one ginormous primal. Could be. I, maybe it's the tower. The tower is the primal. Do you see how it looks? I'm sure it's like kind of alive too, like the other towers. Mm-hmm. The soundtrack right then was really cool. Oh, a little creepy. The Garleans have the, like, the faces of the Hearer, but their eyes are different. And of course, the third eye. <laughs> <laughs> we are here to help, yes. Will they believe us, though? Oh, yep, looks like it. Oh, right, Alphano did gather firewood. He got that skill in Heaven's Word, I remember. 
<laughs> what a Stinian taught him. How sweet. Oh. She doesn't look like she... What's she thinking about? Hmm. Interesting. state maybe give them those potions probably most likely <laughs> <laughs> oh there there is a radio I feel like I could hear it and I was like what's that sound in the distance that's kind of creepy oh they've got frostbite There you go. Nothing but ruins now. Damn. Yeah, they did show that it was all destroyed. Water purification too? Wow. So they run off a power called Ceruleum, huh? <laughs> we have Ceruleum too. Um, and crafting? I can't remember which, which, well, whatever area has this Ceruleum refinery. That sounds very familiar. Yeah. Was that in in Hingachi? It's in, in the... mm, no, there was one in um, one of a, one of the uh, original Rum Reborn areas has it. I'm pretty sure That's it's really in implant. Dandelion. That sounds very familiar. Yeah. I feel like that was where we met Robon a few times. The Ceruleum processing plant, something like that. Yeah, I think so. How the mighty have fallen. That music is kind of creepy. This garlic music. It's running off of crystal power? Maybe we use link pearls because we got magic. It makes sense that they use radio instead. Oh, the same music? Oh, gosh. Over <laughs> and over. Home beyond the horizon. Take back once those uh. hours. Other days I'll show the come. Uh, Emperor Virus. <laughs> God, um, faking his murder. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Not like uh, he was killed by his own son or anything. <laughs> his own son who was dead and then reincarnated, then. Or he never really died, I guess. Who knows? Xenos lived out of spite, it seems. Alicinia. What's that need of? It's a thing. Drink it. Drink. Be warm. Save it for later. I'm I'm a bit curious. I'm a bit worried about her. I guess maybe suspicious. But 
I'm not sure if I'm like suspicious as in she's gonna betray us or that she's hiding something else, you know? We came here on foot. You marched through here with a... with a small army. Oh, airship, I guess. Oh, there's someone else! Listen, yeah, we heard that. Girl, who is it? A <laughs> baby hell mess. Hmm. Let us help. I wonder if something's wrong with that person, like maybe they've like half changed or something's going on. Best watch out for baby El Masti while we're away. <laughs> I'm saying that because I don't believe one bit. But you need the ceruleum. Maybe a dungeon? Possibly a dungeon? I would think though, if someone standing guard outside, it would just be a... Uh, Maybe a, one of those purple instance things. Something like that. Oop, they got stuck on the wall. Oh, I shouldn't go that way. There's it's really hard to spot the entrance. This ginormous hole in the wall that you can see from basically their camp. It's so obvious, yeah. It looks very purposefully made. I mean, it is a mine after all, right? So. I call it a mine. A mine. I do like this snowy landscape a lot. God, that tower! It, looks so it reminds pretty. me of, uh, um, Ishgard. All the snow. Right, I actually forgot that it was snowy there for a, for a minute. That looks like it's gonna be a dungeon. Oh, there are people inside. Your bloods. Oh. oh, hello. Okay, they've immediately become. Easy enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we were seeing double there for a moment. We were seeing double there. There you are. Oh, right, we, we went ahead without them. After me? I don't like Alphano being alone over there. Yeah, but I think he can handle himself now. Those people could not be stronger than him. Maybe whatever is in that little house of hers. I'm suspicious of that. Not the Imperial Bastards to the sword. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, these are all... What? What do you call them? Captured people? Oh, right, they have that, uh... Case system here? Yeah, the, the name means something. Yeah. I remember Fredola um, remember, was one of those where she, they were still really low even though they were given citizenship and stuff. Because they weren't Garlean. She had mentioned stuff about classes and stuff too. We can go to our camp, actually. Mm. Your homes are still okay. Oh, they probably weren't even told what they happened probably weren't to Alameda. It was all fine. Mm hmm. Except for the the places where the Hrothgar and the uh, bunny people. Hmm. It's about getting to the Liam. Yes. Amenable to making a, a deal. Little sister, there you go. Welcome back, Axel. I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> Maybe you're a thrall now. It's so crazy. Like, I want to see it without all the, the fog over it. I'm so curious. I'm a thrall to the tower. Do you see the train? That's like the the derail train right here. Mhm. Mm <laughs> the towers look so welcoming. I wonder. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> it is very uh -oh. epic and eerie. Yes. Too quiet. Oh no. Maybe he's helping the sister? We can only hope. He is a healer. I wouldn't... I don't think he wouldn't do that. Yep, it looks like he had to fight them. What do you mean? I 
If we really wanted your stuff, we'd just kill you and take it. Right? I'm like, why would we pretend otherwise? Bro, we can help! <laughs> They're so mistrusting. Well, they were lied to? Are they told? Were they told that we did that? They were told we did that. Interesting. They don't even know. So often on Alice, I just realize they're matching again. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, right. We should just fly. Or oh, we can't fly. Damn. We can't use mounts, though. Yeah, but flight. I feel ridiculous in these shorts. I'm putting my staller back. <laughs> Did she go on the ice that she said we shouldn't basically right. go out on? The one she sent us out on? Oh god, that's a huge search area. They've been doing this to us. I'm gonna head the opposite direction. Oh, I found something over here. I don't know. Coming to you since uh, I have not seen a thing over here. It's an empty bottle, which I imagine is there. Uh, it just says unlikely to have a connection, so there must be more stuff around. It wouldn't have headed towards that cave, right? I wouldn't think so. Because they don't trust. On fresh blood. Where's that at? Um, underneath the tower thing or whatever. Oh, I must have just like just missed it. Uh, you went the opposite way. Oh, I see you now. There you go. Yeah, you, you went on the opposite way. I think I see them lying in the snow over there. Yep. Not them taking the radio with them. Damn. Wonder if the sister died. <gasps> They're dead. We could have helped them. Damn. 
Because they were lied to. They didn't believe us. And now they're just dead. Oh, voice acting. Must be an important cutscene. Can I use my revive magic? Blood trail. We found one. They were attacked. Not the creepy music while we're standing here. I don't know. It feels more Why? sad to me than creepy. Why at this wouldn't point. they? Safer to brave the wilds than trust in our magic. They were definitely lied to mistrust us. We should have. I should have. <laughs> you can't change the station. There's we only one station like here. We have to take them home. What if we're only making it worse? We're not, I'll say. Don't worry. Maybe we don't belong here, but neither do they. Not out here in the wind and the cold. It's not our fault. It's all the Talaferoi. Yeah, we buried them too. I heard the story. About Varus' voice from beyond the grave. Of course I didn't believe it. But Licinia and her sister did. Perhaps there is something to the tale after all. Maybe, yeah. Maybe Varus is still or so alive in some way. I want to understand. So I'm going to borrow this for a while. If Maybe that's all right. Maybe recording of his voice in the radio. You had every reason not to trust us. We came as trespassers, invaders. But I pray that in time, we will be more. I do get hope, why they didn't trust us, though. Find a but way to help yeah, it's, it's 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 sad. And see that no more children are left honestly. to freeze alone in the snow. I like that they're doing this though to make the Garleans more human to us. Even though, you know, I, I'm, it's not like I was thinking they weren't. It made sense to begin with, but it made it, it shows that it's really not them. It's their, it's the government or whatever is happening with the Asians and things and Fan Daniel, whatever he's plotting. Yeah. Alphano didn't say anything. I think they would have still died if we hadn't come here. I know Alice is upset about it, but... They would have frozen to death because they wouldn't have gone to get the ceruleum. Yeah. So. So we're heading back. We teleport. Mm -hmm. Yes, we can. Teleporting. <laughs> not, not the trespasser. <laughs> we found out some information, though, at least, so all was not lost.
We've got sad news, Lucia. We killed two kids. You're taking responsibility for that? Well, I'm not. Thank you for your report. <laughs> Alpha no kill two we kids. We should inform the troops of these developments and instruct them to proceed Definitely with the utmost not. caution <laughs> should they encounter any survivors. Allow me they to ran out into the wilderness the and got spoils. killed by some beasts. They may be Which more is interesting to that they didn't eat them. They just killed them. Our offer of assistance. I feel like <laughs> they would have eaten them all. I pray you are right. And though I am loath to burden you any further, should there be an appropriate occasion to speak of Lacinia and her sister, please do so. I am sorry to have put you through this. Not your fault, Lucy. My distress is nothing compared to their suffering. So tell me, what else have we learned? As you may have already heard, we have succeeded in curing the members of the Popularis Maxima identified. Oh, nice. They have provided us with some intriguing insights into the current state of Garlemald. I'm finally gonna learn what's been happening. The assassination of Emperor Varus was the catalyst for the civil war. Nerva declared his claim to the throne, and his opponents refused to recognize it. Fighting broke out in the capital, where Nerva's third legion clashed with the first, who remained loyal to Varus even after his death. Mm. Of course, even Imperial warmongers would balk at the idea of turning their shining city into a battleground. Like burning down the wood to spite the wasps. Neither side would be so mad. Yeah, we should hide our Unless something or someone inflamed their animosity to such an extent that they could not help but act against their better judgment. Must be Fan Daniel's doing. It brings to mind events of the Gimlet Dark, does it not? The Emperor's sudden withdrawal from the front line, specifically. Nerva and his father, Titus, Varus's then political rival, took advantage of rumors that Crown Prince Zenos had been possessed by a demon. Elidibus, what better way to disparage your enemies than with the truth or a close enough approximation? I mean, they weren't wrong. Indeed. But before their accusations could be substantiated, many of Titus's followers were silenced. Uh, while some were merely stripped of their status, others died under curious circumstances. One after another, suddenly and suspiciously. Again, Elidibus. Like as not, he had a hand in it. No evidence was found to implicate Varus, certainly. Nevertheless, Titus, Nerva, and the Third Legion would have judged it a brazen attempt by the Emperor to rid himself of his political enemies. Oh, right, because they would assume that. And then, in the midst of this growing turmoil, Varus Sosgalvis is murdered. And Garlemald's own prodigal son, Gaius van Belsar, is named the murderer. Shortly thereafter, Nerva claims the right of succession. And in response, the First Legion claims the assassination was part of a coup d'etat orchestrated by Titus and Nerva. Learning about the politics of Garlemald. So no one is at fault? Always. And everyone else is to blame. <laughs> Every time I'm like this. They're just crazy. I should add <laughs> that just both fighting. parties received substantial financial backing, presumably to provide them with the means and encouragement to pursue a swift victory, and that these contributions came from the self-same benefactor. Oh, someone put fuel to the flame for both. I'd heard House Brutus had been filling the Third Legion's coffers, but the first as well. It would seem so. Though the Popularis determined that the First Legion received funds from a variety of organizations, all had connections to House Brutus. So Fandaniel, in the guise of Arsahi, was playing both sides against each other the entire time. Yep, not surprised by that. The information we gained from my friends does not end there. 
One night, shortly after fighting broke out, the capital was shaken by an immense tremor. From that point onward, they have no memories, no recollection of any events, including our clash on the Magna Glacias. That's when they came. But when asked about brawls. the Imperial Palace and its bizarre transformation, they somehow recall oh, no. Varus giving them orders. Oh, it's dreams. Varus as a primal? Varus is a May primal. The of Babel stand uh -oh. as testament. Because they 100%. believe him in him like he's a... A god. A god. This sounds awfully familiar. So those so those people are also primals. I mean, not primals. And they're thralls. They just didn't we follow. We have something to show you all. Those people, right? Because they believe in Varus too like that. So maybe they are, but like in a mind, more like not as heavy way as the others. And it's through the radio. Varus spoke to them through this radio. Holy shit. Perhaps it was a recording, but if not, How? that would be inexplicable. Can primals go through radio? <laughs> we are of one mind then. Or maybe it has to do with the crystal on the radio? The ether that permeates oh. the ore used in this device is almost wow. identical to that of the talismans. <laughs> the nice guess from me. <laughs> I see it. While it is likely more by coincidence than design, these devices might also So they heard it, but they, because influence. it was through the radio, it didn't affect them. The picture is beginning to form. If the tremor felt throughout Garlemald was a wave of ether emitted by a primal, then while those within range would have been tempered, those huddled around a radio desperate mm. for news concerning the civil war would have been spared. So it like absorbed the call instead. No wonder Licinia kept it close. Oh, she probably knew. Licinia. My friends, I must speak with you. She probably had a feeling that was the case. A young man that? was caught trying to steal our supplies. He is a soldier of the Iron Men, we think, but one who has not been made thrall. Thankfully, Magni restrained him before blood was spilled. The stranger is outside, if you wish to ask him questions. I wonder if he's the guy we saw, one of them. I think we do. Maybe to prove that we're not here to hurt them. Oh, nope. Yes? Wait, is he one of them? Who do we have here? Who? They're not showing his face. Garlians? Traitors to your homeland! Have you no shame? Look at your homeland, buddy. <laughs> Look what's happening here. <laughs> They're here to help. It's so clear. I oh. am Lucia Junius, a temple knight of Ishgard. And you are? Julius Pianobanus. And that's all you invaders will get from me. We are not here to invade Garlemald. Far from it. Like you, our allies in Eorzea and the Far East fight in defense of their lives and their loved ones even as we speak. But it is the people of Garlemald who have suffered most. This we know. And that is why we have come to offer you our aid that we may unite against our common foe. I don't think any of them are going to really believe us. If they've been fed lies this whole time. Whether you believe me or not, those are the facts. They're kind of focusing now, on this guy a little me this. bit. Maybe he'll be more important. Why would a proud soldier of the Empire be reduced to stealing? The situation must be dire indeed for you to go to such lengths. <sighs> If it is supplies you seek, we would gladly share ours, or turn a blind eye while you leave with your spoils. I will not negotiate. My commander will determine how to deal with you and yours. If you wish to treat with him, I will take you, but no more than three. I'll go. I don't much like the sound of that. But if we do accept his proposal, I suggest the two of us and... Please allow me and Alizé to act as envoys. 
May I ask why? We have seen with our own eyes the hardships the Guardians face. How their futures and lives hang in the balance. It's not okay, the warmest sure, invitation, like, but it's you and I can go and we can add one more. <laughs> <true>. <laughs> instead, they're like, we're going. Not a chance yeah, to make we're going instead. Right, but a chance to make them better. <laughs> what would your mother say if I let you go? Girl, <laughs> I'm going with you. I should maybe I should have sent the mother one. That would have been funny. Oh, I guess you're right. My outfit does match with my. I can see that persuading <laughs> you otherwise is a. Maybe we should have made a pink. But you will proceed with the utmost care. I didn't even think about it. You're right. <laughs> I just made it red because I thought red would look cool and it would match the pants. Couple of children and what? A cell sword? Is this an insult? Uh, don't underestimate Not the children. Not in the least. You will find <laughs> that they are more than qualified to speak on our behalf. There are many dangers on the road ahead. I will need that back. We should stop after we end this quest right now. Okay. Or pick it up. Pick it up? Oh, actually, it's not the end of a quest, but maybe before we leave, which might be right after this. Social etiquette. Why is she putting emphasis on certain words? For fun? Maybe we can stop here. That way sure. we can still teleport to this location and <laughs> talk to Julius instead of having Very to true. run all the way like we did inside the... <laughs> Where was it? The... In Char... Charlie? I can't remember the name of it. Uh, it was in the, um... The Laboratorios or whatever. The, <laughs> Labyrinthos. The Labyrinthos. <laughs> I was stand between Alpha and Alice. Hold on. Alright. Gonna be ending the stream here. It's a good thing you can't get taller. <laughs> you can do that all you want. You're so cut out. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Actually, wait. I got it. We're good. Hello, I'm taller. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, um, uh, there's also something else that I can use. <laughs> How dare you? Wait, hold on. I'm gonna stop my animation. There. Okay. Anyway, now that <laughs> that problem's been solved. <laughs> oh, okay, what was I gonna say? Um... Tomorrow. So today is Thursday. So tomorrow's Friday. So I'm going to be playing Elden Ring tomorrow. Uh, hopefully. That's what you say every time you say Elden Ring. And well, it ends up last being time I different. was sick. All right. Leave me alone. Uh, <laughs> it's been like two weeks since I played it, unfortunately. So, of course. But, you know, it hasn't been that hard to kind of get back into it every time I've stepped away. So it's whatever. Um, we'll be playing that tomorrow. And then on Saturday, we're going to be playing uh, Raft with the Bozos. And we're going to be watching The Conjuring afterwards, which I'm really excited about. And then on Sunday, um, what's the vibe for Sunday? Uh, I don't know what I'll play on Sunday. Maybe... What was the, you know, I might play Monster Hunter on Sunday. That one might be fun to do because I've, I've been. I was also probably going to play Persona, so. Oh, okay, that should be fun. I haven't been paying attention to the story much, to be honest. The only thing is, I'll be talking a bit about Monster Hunter while I'm doing it. That's fine. <laughs> so, we'll we'll, figure, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. It depends on the mood, really. I could also just play Black Desert or something. Um, but starting again next week, uh, Connie will be back, uh, so we'll be able to continue with Black Desert Sundays uh, and continue the story. Uh, what else? I think that's about it. Floppy, do you have any any streams coming up? Other than the ones you just mentioned. <laughs> Other than the ones I just mentioned. 
Uh, let yeah. me think. Also, oh, one uh, announcement though I want to make is in January I am going to be uh, traveling out of the country, but I should have internet where I'm at, but I don't know if I'll be able to stream. I, if I can't stream, I'm not preparing any videos or anything, so it will just kind of be uh, <laughs> no stream for all of January. Uh, you can come watch my streams instead. You can watch Sluppy and streams. Snug, both Sluppy and Snug do stream. And then, if I can stream, we'll see if I can figure something out. Maybe PNG Tuber if it's not too bad, or if I can just stream normally, I will. We'll we'll see what the what the vibes are. Um, what else? Oh, I should also make one for for Snug, but with the link. But I'll post his there too. But that's that's still a while from now, honestly. Um, like three, two weeks now. Two weeks about two weeks now. yeah and i'm not leaving immediately i think i'm leaving i can't remember if it was like the fifth or the seventh or something like that uh hold on let me post snugs there you go that's snugs thing. um let me think uh i don't think i have any other announcements let me see if there's anyone we can actually raid <gasps> oh it's the underscore uh yeah <laughs> include the underscore <laughs> Uh, it looks like Faye and May are streaming. So I might. Nina. I think I stream. I, I rated May last time, right? So Faye this time. I'll do May then. I have to find her name on here. May of Faye of Wolf. Oh, there she is. All right. I'll send you guys over to Faye. They are playing poker. I don't know this game. I have no idea what that is. It no looks like playing? a party yes. game. Yes, that looks it looks fun. So <laughs> we'll see. It looks like they're ready for their, for Christmas. They're dressed for the holidays. So <laughs> I'll send you guys over to them. But uh, I hope you guys have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye bye.